Hey babes, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Taylor Hope Alexandria. Welcome to this vlog. Um, so today is Thursday, March 18th, and obviously I'm in the car. Um, we're actually on base right now. Isaiah had to come on base for a couple of things. So, um, we're on base. He's been in there for about five minutes. We just got here, and um, he's in his building. And I'm about to do my makeup. So I have the um, tray that I told you guys about. When did I tell you guys about this? I think like two vlogs ago. Two? Somewhere. One of my vlogs. I told you about this little tray. That you can use for like food and stuff like that. Like I told you I saw it on TikTok. And I got it from Target. Um, and like people were like eating in their car. And like using this obviously as a tray for their car. Hold up. So I'm using it right now to do my makeup. So yeah, um, I'm about to do my makeup because I want to film some content for TikTok. And I figured I could just vlog also. Vlog today, tomorrow, maybe the weekend as well. So yeah, I'm about to just sit here and do my makeup. Um, this is so extra. Why would I bring all of this? Like I have my brush bag. I have my makeup. Like this is so extra. But we're going to go get Korean corn dogs. So I wanted to do a TikTok eating it. Um, and also, I know some of you guys really liked when I, um, like, ate the corn dog on camera. So, yeah, I was like, let me just do my makeup so that I can just be ready for the day and film some content while I'm at it. Um, I have class tonight at 7.15, 7.15 to 9.45. So, between now and then, I just want to get some content in. So, yeah. Let me start doing my makeup before he comes back, though, because I don't know how this is going to work when I start when he starts driving. But yeah, like, what's been going on with you guys? Um, I'm trying to be consistent. So, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to keep up the content. Now that I have a little bit of time, you guys know that I passed my test. I already told you guys about that in my last vlog. So, I just want to make sure that I'm just, like, on my, on my shit, basically, with YouTube. Um, because things are going well with school, so school and youtube are like my main things so i just want to keep it going you know what i mean so y'all this um foundation girl this morphe what is this this is the filter fx soft focus foundation it has medium to full coverage i'm in the shade filter tan 21 this foundation girl this shit is good this was i think twenty dollars and i got it from ulta and when i got it from ulta like look how dirty it is this is how much i've been using and abusing it like this is bomb i i know morphe had like a foundation before this i never tried that i never cared to try it but it was just something about this like the packaging and I saw some reviews on it. I'm like, yeah, I need that. And it's good. It's the only foundation that I've been, like, reaching for consistently for the past, like, two weeks, three weeks, maybe. Um, the only thing is it is a little bit dark for me. Um, I think I got paler out of nowhere. And so now it's a little bit dark for me. But it's okay. I'm going to go and get another shade maybe i'll do that tomorrow i'm gonna get a little lighter shade just because this is all i want to wear right now and that says a lot because y'all know i have like my holy grails like my nora soft matte i have my uh maybelline fit me which i i do mix a little bit with this just like because the shade is so dark on me it's not so dark but i want it to match a little bit better you know like this is what i wore when i went out my best friend's birthday dinner like this is what i wore when out when i went out to dinner with isaiah like i girl i'm not reaching for no other foundation and i just didn't have that type of expectations for this morphe foundation and then when you get the foundation from ulta i'm not sure if it's still going on but i know when i got mine i was able to get this brush for free it's the only thing i've been using to apply my foundation like this brush is bomb I just go in with like one coat of this and then I mix in the um, Fit Me foundation in the shade 332. This is just like the squeezy tube that they have now. 
but yeah, so I'm gonna play some music. I'm gonna let you guys keep watching me and um, I will see you guys when I um, get done. We had to stop at the gas station first before we leave base. So I'm like finishing up my makeup and it looks bad. <laughs> but it's fine. I have to do my makeup in the car. So I can't really, you know, I can't really be that mad because like y'all saw my setup. Y'all saw the setup. So if my makeup looks a little crazy, don't come for me. Okay. But I'm almost finished. I was almost finished when I turned the camera off. But I just have to put my blush on and my Charlotte Tilbury powder and then do my lips. But that's like this is the easy part now, you know? Y'all know how I feel about this KKW um, blush. Uh, my second one is coming tomorrow in the mail. I'll show you guys that tomorrow when it comes. But this right here, bomb. Here comes my baby. Ooh, I went too crazy with the, the bronzer on my forehead. Your girl looks crazy today, but we just wanna, we wanna move forward. So yeah, I'll do my lips and then I'll see you guys. Where are we going next? The mall, Korean corn dogs? Oh. On the DC, baby. I'll see you guys in a few. <laughs> I'm like rushing to eat, and I'm also gonna try to make a TikTok. You hungry or not? Well, you know I like it hot, and I'm trying to get a cheese pool. Telling you, a cheese pool. Jamba little, juice. Hmm. Cheese pool a little bit better when you like cool down just mm -mm. like a little bit. It's a no for me. If you guys go to Jamba Juice, get the white gummy. It's mad good. Y'all ready for this first bite? I'm gonna do it on TikTok too. Ooh. Yes. First bite, let's get it. Exposing me like that on YouTube. You're exposing yourself. What did I do? Oh, I, I turned over all the time. My tongue was not out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. If y'all haven't tried this yet, Please try it. It's one of the best foods because it's like, it's not just that it's sweet, it's also like salty too. So like if you mm -hmm. like salty type of food, and if you like cheese too, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Good. It's so good. So I'm gonna choose it. They need to fill these up with more sauce, like. And stop being lazy. Stop having them just sitting out already. Like, what is this? I need sauce, please. Do a drop, please. Right. Okay. Wait, how many did you give me? Two. Oh, okay. okay. Get what? Two what? You got me two, right? Two what? Corn dogs? Yeah. <laughs> how many? Stop playing with me. I got two more. You said you wanted one. Nah, I see. There you go. I got two, two corn dogs and two sauces. I got 
that you did. Did you think I was getting Jamba Juice? I figured how long you took. Boy, it wasn't me. It was the hot dog place. You could have got it. You so shady, like. You gonna say it's the, it's the hot dog place? You went to Zara. You got Jamba Juice. You was in there vibing. Um, it was packed in there, low key. Yeah, let me take full advantage and vibe a little bit. Mm-hmm. far, I was in here making TikToks. Hey babe, so it's the next day. It's actually really late, you guys. It's 4.26, like, and I'm just now getting my day started. So right now, we're on our way to Target, per usual, y'all know. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Oh my God, you probably can't even hear me. It's probably so loud, I'm sorry. I hope y'all can hear me. Also yesterday, before my class, I registered for my COVID shot. So, I get my COVID shot tomorrow, so I have to go back to Philly tomorrow for the second Saturday in a row. Love that for me. So, yeah, I will get that. My appointment is at 2.30. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go into too many details about it, but um, I knew from the start that I was going to get it. You know what I mean? Like... It's just the best thing for me, for everyone around me, for those not around me. You know what I mean? It's just, in my opinion, and I don't want to really get into it because I know it's, like, controversial. I know a lot of people have different views on it, and, you know, and that's fine. But for me, I know it's, it's I definitely need to get it, and I, I'm going to get it. Obviously, my appointment is tomorrow, and I'm happy about it. It just feels like a little extra protection. Like, I'm still going to wear my mask and everything. And you guys know that I don't go out, so it's just like for the instances where I am going to Target, like today, that you know, or when I do go out, I just feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more secure. So, yeah, I get my first one tomorrow. I'm getting the Pfizer, which is the one that's like 94 or 95 percent effective. So, I could have got the um, Johnson and Johnson one with my internship but I saw that Johnson & Johnson is only like 66% effective and that's just not gonna work for me like I want the whole kitchen caboodle like I want the most effective one so yep we're gonna go to Philly tomorrow again mm, I'm gonna see my mom and yeah I don't know what else I'm gonna do in Philly tomorrow um, because I literally, it was like literally like last minute. So a lot of plans have changed for our little weekend. But that's okay because this is really important to me. Like I really want to get this. Um, my mom got hers. My mom got both of her doses already. My dad got his first dose. He's go, he goes back I think next week to get his third or his second dose. What am I saying third? He goes back to get his second dose next week. Um, my grandma, the one that turned 99, she got her first dose. So, yeah, Isaiah's working on getting his. Why would you do that? Isaiah's working on getting his, and he's probably going to get his through the military. Um, so, yeah, you know, everyone around me is going to get it. And it's just what we're choosing to do. It's what's best for us and our family and, you know, for the people that we're around, you know, just to help everyone. It's literally benefiting everyone. So, yeah, I literally said I wasn't going to go into too many details, and I ended up going into a lot of details. So, yeah, anyway, I'm getting my COVID shot, guys. Not that anyone cares, but I'm just letting you guys know that I'm going back to Philly tomorrow because my doctors and everything. Again, everything's in Philly for me. So, we're going to Philly. Um, but, yeah, I'm pulling out to Target, and I'm about to go in the garage, so it's going to get dark. So, I'll see you guys in Target. So, I just left uh trader joe's it was so chaotic uh, the sun is playing me like always but it was so chaotic in there like it was packed they were sold out of a lot of stuff that i wanted and needed not needed but wanted so yeah by the time i got my stuff and left there was like a line outside so it was like getting a little too congested inside to just let everyone in so they started having a line 
gonna go into Chipotle, get some Chipotle. Um, ooh, what is going on here? And I'm gonna get probably a chicken burrito. And then I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and get me a little drinky drink. I saw they have like a spring drink, like a guava something, a guava passion fruit. I saw it in Target. I don't wanna get it in Target. <laughs> But, mm-mm, Chipotle is jumping. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, yeah, I'm pulling up here. And I will see you guys when I get back from Chipotle. We will go to Starbucks. The line crazy at Starbucks. Mm, it's not that bad. And, yeah, babes, I will see you guys in, like, literally a second. Thank you so much for waiting. What can I say for you today? Hi, do you guys have that guava passion fruit drink? We do. Okay. What would you like? A grande? Oh. So sorry. We're actually out of guava, but if you want, we can replace it with each. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I would say it's equally as good. Okay. Alright. And anything else I can for you? That's it. Alright, it's going to be five Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't... Mm, this is why I don't do my runs late at, in the afternoon or evening better yet because everything be gone like how are y'all sold out of the guava so everybody just wanted to have guava today and whatever they probably sold out of the brown sugar too good thing i didn't want to get that today hi oh hi how you doing good how are you Pretty good. uh for the peach uh passion fruit drink can you five to seven Okay, let me get my card. So it's just 57 cents. Yep. There you go. Oh, this is cute. Thank you. Do you want a straw? Um, no, it's okay. Alright. Thank you. I need to put another um sanitizer in my car. That's good. Though. Okay. So. Let's go home. Let me show you guys this drink. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> Look at the um coffee on the side. Like, what is that about? So this is the drink. It's so pretty. So this is supposed to be the guava passion fruit drink. But like you guys heard, they didn't have the guava. So I got peach instead. Go ahead, y'all. This boy's right in their bike right here. Let's give it a taste. Because look how pretty it is. I think you can see it a little bit better now. So pretty. Let's taste it. Okay. Hmm. What is in here? I feel like this is, um, <laughs> it's kind of like the pink drink. I would definitely get this again. This is over the pink drink, but at the same time, it tastes exactly like it. It's so weird. Hopefully, the next time I try it, I can actually try it with the guava instead of the peach. But it's good. It's really good. I recommend. Mm. A 7 out of 10. Okay, so we're going to start with Trader Joe's just because I have some stuff in here that needs to go into the fridge. Also, Isaiah's in the other room. He's playing a game. My dogs are right here. They're making noise, so it's a whole thing. So if you hear them, ignore them, like always. So starting out with Trader Joe's, the first things I got are the buffalo-style chicken poppers. Does it come with the sauce? It doesn't come with the sauce, probably. But I got two of these just because Isaiah and I, we love buffalo chicken anything. So these look really good just to like throw in the toaster oven or probably even the air fryer um, whenever we're working and we just have like a little lunch break. Um, these will be like quick and easy things that we can eat for lunch. The next thing I got is the mandarin orange chicken. This is like a staple at Trader Joe's. Everyone knows about this. I'm sure you guys already know about these. This is like bomb. I throw mine in the air fryer for about 15 minutes or 400 degrees and I usually have it with either white rice or fried rice and 
we love it and this is also like a really easy and convenient dinner option i usually do is just throw these in the air fryer and then i go take a shower by the time i get out the shower and come back it's ready to go and then the rice will just be cooking on the stove boils it's finished and literally when i got the shower dinner is done so this is just like a staple in our house we love this so much so i had to pick this up as well the next thing i got is just the pineapple juice trader joe's pineapple juice is so good it's so sweet it's so like this is gonna sound so stupid but it's so like juicy like how is it juice juicy but it's just so sweet and yummy so you know if you know you know <laughs> it's like no but really this is just really good and i love pineapple juice so i had to pick this up as well so the next thing that i got is just carne asada this is already seasoned and everything and this was twelve dollars how many this is 1.21 pounds so i picked this up again this can just be like an easy little dinner option it's already seasoned um i've never had this before so i don't know like if i need to add some more of my own spices and seasonings you know what i mean but i probably won't just because it looks like it's like really like seasoned really well also picked up another dinner option this is the sesame teriyaki chicken wing sections so this was $6.99 and these are just like little chicken like the party wings like they're already like um individually like cut like the wings you know what i mean so this has sesame teriyaki sauce vinegar powder and rosemary extract so again just throw these in the air fryer and your dinner is ready to go Ugh, what else i got these hash browns isaiah and i loved these last time i got them so i picked them up again we haven't had them in a while we haven't had them for probably like three months so when I saw them, I just figured we could just, you know, have them again. So these are just the Trader Joe's hash browns. Again, throw them in the air fryer. If y'all don't have an air fryer, y'all are missing out. Like, I highly recommend. I feel like everyone has one by now, but some people don't. And if you're one of those people, girl, go get you an air fryer. I'm telling you, your life will be changed. So next, I got some cabbage. This was really boring. But I got this for my tacos. It'll go on my carne asada tacos on Tuesday. I picked up some pasta. When I went to Capitol Grove for my best friend's birthday, the lobster mac and cheese, like the pasta was just like this. And I loved it. So when I saw it at Kita Joe's, I picked it up. So this will be the noodles that I use. I think we're coming down to the end, guys. The next thing I got, oh. This is one of the things that they didn't have. They didn't have like the strawberry lemonade flavor, I think it is. So I had to settle for the ginger lemon. I should have got another one because my mom probably really like this. So this is the organic sparkling ginger and lemon apple cider vinegar beverage. This is everything that my mom would absolutely love. And I should have, maybe I'll just give this to her. What y'all think? I want to try it though. And if it's sweet, she's not gonna like it. But she loves apple cider cream vinegar. She loves lemon. She loves ginger. She's a Caribbean lady, so she freaking loves ginger. Um, I'll taste it, and then if it's good, I'll buy her some. But they have that in like a lemonade, like a strawberry lemonade flavor, and I know it's probably bomb. But the next thing I got is this magnify sauce. That's what it's called. This is a tangy sauce of secret proportion, and this just it kind of looks like in and out sauce it kind of looks like like the spread like in and out spread and it also kind of looks like cane sauce so we want to try this out um and i'll let you guys know how it tastes but this is a new item and i saw this on tiktok and everyone was saying that it's really good so i had to pick it up girl that's a pink drink period the next thing that I got is the caramelized onion dip. Just another snack option to have while we work. Um, Isaiah loves like onion dip. So I figured he might really like this. They also have really good buffalo chicken dip. But they were sold out. That was the other thing that they were sold out of. So obviously I couldn't pick it up. But the buffalo chicken dip from Trader Rose is bomb. The last thing that I got is just these rolled corn tortilla chips this is the chili and lime flavor and 
these taste like Takis, so, but they're a little bit healthier, so, yep. But that's what I got from Trader Joe's. Um, from Target, let's start out with the cold things because they're going to go in my fridge. Real quick, real boring, the first thing I got from Target was just the unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. You guys know I love this for my, probably don't know this, but I love this for my smoothie bowls. No, I think I mentioned it before. I'm pretty sure I have. Either way, I use this coconut milk for my smoothie bowls, so I always get the unsweetened kind though. And I always make sure it's vanilla also. The second thing that I got was just the Silk Oat Yeah Oat Milk, and this is the Cravably Creamy kind. Um, I never tried um, Silk's Oat Milk. I usually get um, Chobani's, like extra creamy, but the only place that has that around my way is this one supermarket that's one, kind of out of the way, and two, it's fucking expensive. So, you know, we're here to try this one and see how I like it. And then the last one thing from Target is just some turkey bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead, put all this in my fridge, and then I'll be right back so I can show you guys the rest of the stuff from Target and also from Zara. Okay, so I just put everything away from Target and Trader Joe's. Now we can just go ahead and move into everything else that I got from Target. So the first thing that I got is just this mini waffle maker. This is by the Dash brand. And I have one of these already. I have like a blue one. But this one specifically is like Easter related. So it like looks like a bunny when you make your waffles. So the reason why I got this is because one, I love Easter. And two, I thought it was really cute. Three, y'all know I like to make breakfast. So I'm gonna use this um, starting on Easter, Easter Sunday and make us a little brunch. I thought this was really cute. Like this is really cute like if you have kids. So everything else, that I got from Target is basically like for hygiene. First thing I got from Target is the Mighty Patch Patches. So I've never tried these, but I know everyone talks about them on TikTok and probably here on YouTube as well. So I heard really good things about this. I know that a lot of people like the red kind, but I think the only difference is between this one and the red is just this one is invisible. So I have like a boulder on my face right now actually. So I'm hoping that tonight when I use this, it will actually work. I'm sure it will because everyone's like raving about this. So next I got this. I don't even know how to say this brand's name. LaRouche Posay. LaRouche Posay. So I think that's how you say it. So everyone has been talking about this moisturizer. So this is a probiotic skincare Restores healthy looking skin, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is the double repair face moisturizer. So everyone has been talking about this on TikTok and um, saying how good it is. So I picked it up, one, because if it's really good and people love it, I want to try it out for myself too. Um, and two, because my skincare fridge somehow, I know I did it by accident. I turned it on to warm instead of cool. So I was doing work at my desk and sometimes it could just get a little bit loud. So I turned it off and then I was like, you know what, it's fine. Let me just turn it back on. So instead of like switching it up to cool, I switched it down to warm. Didn't realize it for like about two days because I went to Philly. Um, so this was last weekend. So I went to Philly, came back, went to my skincare fridge. All of my stuff was melted. All of my skincare melted. So anyway... Long story short, I needed a new moisturizer because the moisturizer that I've been using is just like a little, um, one of the perk moisturizers that you get from Sephora. Mine is, I believe, the Aqua Bomb, but it's a little perk size, so that's not going to last me. So, pick this one up. I will let you guys know how I like it. I'm going to use it tonight after I, you know, do my skincare tonight, and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Um, what else? Next, I got the Flamingo Razor. So, yesterday I told you guys... That I haven't been getting waxes anymore. So this is the razor that I've been using. And it's from Target. This is, again, the Flamingo brand. I just went ahead and picked up a brand new one. Just because sometimes I like to just, you know, instead of buying the razor heads, just get a whole new razor. Um, so this is the pink one. It's the Desert Rose and Silver. It's so cute. The names are so cute. They have like a, 
a teal, like a Tiffany blue one, and then they have, I think, a purple one, like a lilac color. Anyway, the colors doesn't matter. What matters is the shave it gives is bomb, okay? Bomb. So I got this, and it does come with an extra razor head. So I got that. And then to go with it, y'all know I was talking about the um, shaving cream that I've been using. So this is the EOS shaving cream. This is the Shea Better, not butter, better. Shea Better Shave Cream, um, 24 hour moisture. This has Shea Oil, Shea Butter, um, and you can use it both wet and dry. And this is just the Vanilla Bliss scent. So this, with this, plus my um, European Wax Center Exfoliator. So what I use is my exfoliator first. I exfoliate down there first, and then I put the shaving cream and then go to town with my razor and when i shave i shave down and then hear me out y'all gonna think i'm crazy i shave down then i shave up and then i go side to side and i go both sides and it just works like i know you're supposed to shave like in the direction your hair grows but listen when it comes to down here i don't care i just want all of it gone so that's what i've been doing and it's lit. Then I got the Honey Pot. This is the Sensitive Foaming Wash. So y'all, if you've seen my hygiene routine, you guys know that I said that I used the Dove um, Sensitive Skin Bar Soap for down there. So for some reason, I need to stay off of TikTok. But I was on TikTok and I saw some girls saying that they've been loving this Honey Pot. And I heard like really good things about this. I think this might actually be black owned i'm not 100 percent sure but i want to say yes i'll put it on the screen if it is um which made me want to test it out even more i don't know if it's black owned i'm not sure don't quote me but they have the sensitive kind and then they have the normal kind i don't know what the difference is because i've only tried the sensitive kind obviously one is sensitive and one is normal but in terms of ingredients i don't know the difference but i've just been using the sensitive one and this is my second bottle and i ran out of my original my first bottle um i want to say like a week and a half ago and i've been using my dove sensitive bar soap and girl it's just not the same it's not the same <laughs> like wow i never thought that i would change up from my dove, my dove bar soap but this is a game changer and i think i literally said that in my hygiene routine that i would never switch up but this is so good first of all i love that it's a foam and it's just something about the foam being like light and airy like it's not too harsh or abrasive so your girl your girl has switched to honey pot for down there and i love it i haven't had any issues i know you're not supposed to use like soaps specifically made for down there because you know it can be a little gimmicky it can throw off your ph balance whatever whatever this is good so this has no parabens no dioxides and it is plant-based. Okay, so the last thing I got from Target, the last thing, yes. No, I lied. So, moving on anyway. So, from Target, I got the Function of Beauty Shampoo and Conditioners. So, this one is for curly hair. If you guys watched my hair care routine, you guys know that I have naturally curly hair. Um, and in that video, I was using the OGX Coconut water shampoo and conditioner i don't use that anymore there's like a whole lawsuit a whole big thing going on with them and um i think their shampoo and conditioner is calling hair loss so that's enough um but if you guys aren't familiar with function of beauty a lot of youtubers are like always sponsored by them and this brand you can like customize your shampoo and conditioner to your hair types and your hair needs and so usually when they are sponsored they have like their name on the bottle and they can pick out like their color of the shampoo and everything else so i'm i know you guys probably heard of this brand but they came to target and so they have shampoo conditioners for curly hair they have one for wavy hair um i think fine hair and i think straight hair i'm not 100 sure but i know my hair is curly isaiah's hair is curly because he probably want to end up using this as well so i got the curly one and this says it's formulated with chia extract to help shape and define curls. Um, what are the ingredients? I was checking to see if it had that same ingredient that the OGX one had, and it doesn't. But 
for some reason, again, TikTok, for some reason, I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they don't like this. Like, it's kind of like split. Like, either you like it or you don't um, with the people on TikTok. So, I want to try it out for myself and see how I like it and let you guys know how I like it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, like, a little nervous because some people said their hair started falling out. Some people said that their hair just got extremely dry. On the other hand, some people said they saw hair growth and that their hair was just like shinier, healthier, a lot better. So we're going to see. So it says it's sulfate-free, paraben-free, 95% naturally derived, 100% vegan, cruelty-free, silicone-free, and made with recycled plastic bottles. And then to go along with that, I got these little add-ons. So um, I'll insert the clip to show you guys. So they have like a whole display of the shampoo and then they have like these little enhancers basically that you can add into your shampoo. So I got the lengthening one, I got a shine one, and I got a strengthening one. So it says on the like little display that you can pick three of these to add into your shampoos. So um, yeah, so I got the lengthening one because I am trying to still grow my hair out. Um, my hair is pretty long but it's like uneven so i'm like struggling with like low-key having to decide if i want to cut it or not just so it can all grow unevenly um my goal was to have my hair grow out to my butt and it is touching my butt but literally on one side so like it's like one side is longer than the other i think i told you guys this before but one side is longer than the other so love that for me so i'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna just keep growing it out and then cut it or if I'm gonna cut it and then let it grow out. Either way, I picked up the lengthening enhancer. Was this a booster? What is this? Booster shots. So they're called boosters. So I got the lengthening one and then I got the shine one because I love for my hair to look shiny. And then I got the strengthening one because my hair has been breaking off a little bit so I wanna obviously strengthen it and then all of these are fragrance free these little booster shots i don't know what the shampoo and conditioner are but let's see oh wow it smells good fuck i don't know what this smells like but it smells so good and it's a pink shade yeah these smell good so let's open one of these up and see what it looks like I might actually just add it in um, in a little bit. So it says you snap it open, pour one shot in. Oh, so you pour it into your shampoo and your conditioner. So it comes with two. So you put one in your shampoo, one in your conditioner, and then you shake it for 15 seconds. So these are what the little booster shots look like. My light is so bright, I'm sorry. Pick that up. The last thing that I got was just this microfiber sponge. This is the lavender shade. And this is from Juno & Co. Juno & Co is now at Target. So, love that for us. Okay, from Zara. Got four little tops. And I will be inserting pictures or videos of me with them on right here on the screen for you guys to see as I show you. And the first thing from Zara is just this top. I don't know why I was looking for the name of the top. But it's just this cute little white crop top. And then it has a cutout right here. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys. But you guys have probably seen the clip as well. It has like a cutout right here, right above your boobs, I think. So I thought that was going to be really, really cute for the spring and summertime. This was $12.90. The second thing that I got was just this yellow Surprise, surprise, she's about to wear color. <laughs> this yellow little crop top, this smells good. I don't know why it smells so good. It's just a little crop top, and I like how it has like the the deep sides. So, and it is racerback, love that. I saw this and I was like, this is pretty, and this will be pretty like with a tan. And then my necklace, like just gold, oh, so pretty. So this was $5.90 and I got a size small. Let me show you guys the tag again. The next thing I got was just that same top but in white. You need a white always. 
This one I got in a size medium because they didn't have a small. Last thing I got was just this black top. This one has like a deep V, which I thought was really cute. This one is like a for sure racer back. Like for sure, for sure. This I got in a size small and this was $12.90. I think I told you guys that I'm, I just ordered like another blush. And then I think I told you guys what I got already. I got another blush. Um, yeah. because I'm obsessed with the honey collection. So I got two blushes. The first one is Honey Pot. This is the one that I already have, but I decided to get another one because I love it so much. So it's just like the muted pinky shade. I showed you guys this already when I wore it. And then the second one I got is just in the shade Honey Love, which is a little bit lighter. They probably look the same on camera, but in person, they're one is darker and one is lighter. So they are different, but they're right up my alley. Like this is what I'm talking about when I say I want to wear blush. Oh my God, they look the same, huh? Okay, you can see a little bit better. So this one is Honey Pot and this one is Honey Love. Love, love, love the shades, love the tones. It's going to be perfect for spring. So I ordered those. And the last thing I got was just a lip liner. This is in the shade Classic Kim. And KKW lip liners are my favorite from the tones to the price to the consistency to formula. It's just all around bomb. So if you haven't tried them yet, I highly recommend. Yep. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So pretty. It's right there. It's like a warm brown. Hey babes, good morning. It is the next day. It's Saturday. What day is it? March 20th. It is 11.03 a.m. And I'm getting ready to head out so we can start heading to Philly. I just wanted to kind of update you before we got in the car because I'm always updating you when we're in the car. So yeah, I'm about to show you my outfit. A quick little outfit of the day. Um, let me give you the overview. So jacket is from ASOS. The shirt is from Zara. These pants are for God Essentials, you guys already know, and then just my Louis boots. So we're in line at Starbucks. And okay, so I wanted to update you guys on the moisturizer and the um shampoo and conditioner. So this is gonna be like our first impressions, obviously, since I've only used the products one time. Girl the moisturizer oh she's cute the moisturizer is bomb like oh my gosh so it's the consistency so it when you put it on your fingers it comes out like a a cream or a lotion but once you start rubbing it into your face it feels like water or like gel almost so moisturizing like my skin was so dry after I got out of the shower because I did a full, you know, wash your hair, condition your hair, wash your body, shave your body type of shower. So I was in the shower for like a good hour, to be honest, probably like 45 minutes. And so my face was just like dry. After I put the moisturizer on, y'all, it was like like a whole new layer of skin almost. Like I'm probably being dramatic, but no lie, that moisturizer is so good. It's really hard for me to find a shampoo and conditioner that will um, have the scent like last on my hair after I blow dry it and straighten it. Usually after I blow dry and straighten my hair, depending on what shampoo and conditioner I use, there will be no scent and my hair will kind of smell like like flat iron, like kind of like burnt almost. Not burnt, you know what I mean. You know when you flat iron your hair, it kind of has like the smell of like, I don't even know how to explain it, but you guys know what I mean. So it's really hard for me to find a shampoo and conditioner that won't, you know, fade away like the smell won't fade away my smells like i just got out the shower like just washed it like i don't smell any type of like heat or like you know what i mean like it just smells like the shampoo and conditioner um so i'm gonna be honest when i was shampooing my hair my hair did feel a little rough almost like kind of like maybe dry it wasn't like you know when you shampoo your hair and you get a good lather like your hair feels soft and like you know what i mean my hair usually feels like that but with this shampoo it didn't feel like that um sometimes depending on the shampoo again my hair will feel a little bit like a little weird a little rough 
until I put the conditioner on. When I put the conditioner on, my hair feels a lot better, a lot softer. When I put this conditioner on, the um, Function of Beauty Conditioner, my hair still felt the same way. And I was kind of concerned because like I kind of thought my hair wasn't going to straighten well and that it was just going to be a mess but I went with it because I wanted to give you guys a first impression and I wanted to see for myself you know I paid for it so I want to like see what it's like obviously so when I put the conditioner on it still like it didn't feel like soft and like conditioned it kind of just felt the same so I was just like whatever we'll see usually for me I know a shampoo and conditioner is good when I straighten my hair. If my hair straightens really well and lays really nicely, then the shampoo conditioner like was good for my hair. Um, if my hair doesn't straighten well and if it just kind of um, is like greasy or like has like a residue left over, it's just, it's just a no for me. Like if the shampoo and conditioner leaves a residue in my hair or like makes it greasy or something, my hair just doesn't straighten well. My hair was like straightening like silk. Like it was literally like a silk press. Like. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, I should have showed you in the house because in the house you could see, or I think maybe on the side you can see how shiny it is. And you guys know that I put the shine booster in. Um, and like that was the first thing that I noticed. And like I, even Isaiah was like, he, I, I showed him the shampoo and conditioner um, because he uses whatever I use. So again, when I got the boosters, I wanted to make sure that I was getting something that would work for both of our hair because he uses my shampoo and conditioner anyway. So, he also needs strengthening, um, lengthening not so much, but like he does like to grow his hair out and then, you know, get a fresh cut. And then, um, what was the other booster that I got? Shine. His hair is like jet black and like wavy and shiny. Like he has beautiful hair. So, I know like when he washes his hair and conditions it, it's going to be so shiny and like silky. Um, but anyway, so he was like, yeah, babe, that shampoo conditioner got your hair looking shiny. So, it looks really shiny um it laid really well it flat ironed really well um i'm really really happy with how my hair looks um you know what shampoo conditioner you can't really see like a difference or results until you you know get a couple washes in but i know for me personally i know if i'm gonna like a shampoo conditioner if my hair straightens well after so i'm gonna keep using it um so far so good i will keep you guys updated i'll keep you guys posted um but yeah so our two new products were a hit and i didn't use the mighty patch patches because the pimple that i did have on my face when i took my makeup off it popped so i didn't need to put the patch on um so i didn't use them but that's gonna be the next thing that we see if it works or not good how are you um do you guys have any of the brown sugar syrup yeah, I do have the brown sugar syrup. Okay, awesome. Can I have a grande iced chai latte um, with three pumps of the brown sugar? Yep. And can I have oat milk instead of um, the 2%? Yeah, we can do that. Anything else? And can I have um, caramel drizzle in the cup, please? You want caramel drizzle. You got it. Anything else? Um, do you have any more bantam bagels? No, that's actually a discontinued item. <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah, it's been discontinued for a couple of months. Okay, um... That's, that's it. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. That's okay. Maybe Y'all, I forgot to get cold foam. I don't know how I forgot <laughs> to get cold foam, but I did. And now I'm salty. First of all, wait, where is this taking me? Go ahead. You guys heard what I ordered. It's just the ice chai latte with oat milk instead of 2% and then caramel drizzled. And then I have the brown sugar syrup. I got three pumps. I'm so sad about my cold foam. When he handed it to me, I was like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> and then it was too late and then they're packed. So yeah, that's what she's looking like. Let's taste this brown sugar though. This, <laughs> this tastes like a, like a oatmeal raisin cookie. I don't tell, their oat milk is good. I don't, mm, they put a little bit too much caramel. Oh my God, look at all the caramel at the bottom. It's way too much. But, um, I don't taste the brown sugar. I don't taste the chai. I don't taste the brown sugar. <laughs> 
I only taste um, oat milk and it tastes like a creamy, it tastes like you dip your oatmeal raisin cookie in milk and you're like, you drink the milk. That's what it tastes like. But it's good. And y'all already know I need a drink on my drive. First of all, Starbucks discontinued the Bantam bagels. I don't like that. Like, how? She gonna say, well, we have the regular bagels if you want that. I don't want no big ass bagel. If you guys don't know what a Bantam bagel is, it's like the small bagel that's like filled with cream cheese and you get two of them. That's what I like. I don't like big bagels. I don't like bagels because they're like too much. I like guess too, too, too much. Hey, babies. So I'm in Philly now, I'm in Chinatown. And I'm six minutes away from the convention center because that's where I'm getting my shot at. And they're giving out the vaccines at the convention center. So those of you who are in Philly, because I know a lot of my subscribers live in Philly um, and you're looking to get it, I registered online. My mom got hers there too. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way there. I'm six minutes away. For the people who are like surrounding Philly, because I know I have people like in Allentown, Reading, um, I'm not sure, because I know you need a Philly address. So I'm not really sure how that would work, but just check, just check the Pennsylvania Department of Health. And I'm sure there's like, you know, there's places around your area where you can get yours if you want to get it. So yeah, I have to look for parking as well. I hate coming downtown. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, I have to pee. I drank the freaking chai and now I have to pee, but I'm gonna have to wait until I get to my mom's house because I'm not using public restrooms. <laughs> it's packed down here. You guys know, if you're from Philly, you know Chinatown be packed. So I'm gonna just pay attention to the road and I will see you. Oh my God, Boba, I want Boba. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey babes, so I just got home like, literally not even 10 minutes ago um so first of all i think the last time i spoke to you guys i was in chinatown um my appointment was for 2 30 and i didn't get my shot until like 3 20 so i had to find parking as you guys know and this man was like nice enough to let me park in his lot and he only charged me ten dollars even though it should have been way more than that because it was ten dollars for 30 minutes but i was way over 30 minutes um i had an appointment um so my mom registered me and then i set up the appointment and the only day they gave me was for today saturday so i'm like okay cool like i'll just run up there get my shot um, it'll be in and out. I got an appointment. No. Oh my god, the appointment line was so long. I, so there was an appointment line and a walk-in line. And they were both equally long. So I had to wait outside for about... Honestly, I feel like I'm not even doing the time justice. Like I feel like I was outside waiting in line before I can get into the convention center for like... 25 30 minutes and then once you get into the convention center you have to wait in another line for another like 15 minutes then you get to your shot line and you have to wait another 10 minutes and then even when you get to the table um so basically it's like it's fema and the marines that's like giving out the shot so people in the marines um are giving the actual shot and then FEMA is in charge of like directing people, checking IDs, things like that. So a Marine gave me my COVID shot. So when I got to the table, um, he was giving someone else their shot. And then he gave that person's wife the shot. And then he gave me a shot. So even when I got to the table to get my freaking shot, I had to wait. But, you know, it's whatever. I'm just happy that it was a lot of people there. I'm just happy that a lot of people are getting vaccinated. One, I didn't know it was going to be that busy. But two, with the amount of people that were there, I did not think that, like, that many people were, like, interested in getting vaccinated. And it just kind of made me happy. Like, it kind of gave me, like, a sense of hope and, like, that we're just kind of, like, all in this together, finally. Even though it's just a small amount of people considering, like, how big this thing is. But um, I'm pretty sure 
that people outside of Philly are getting it too at the convention center. Um, I, they have like a list of zip codes and obviously my zip code was on there and um, a whole bunch of other ones. Um, I saw some other Philly zip codes, but then like some other ones I didn't really recognize. So maybe they're like the surrounding areas. So again, if you are in PA, just go on Pennsylvania Department of Health if you're interested and then see like what's going on in your area or if you have to come to Philly to get it. I don't really know how that works. But your girl got her shot. Here's my band-aid. I got my little sticker on my jacket. But I have to go back to get my second dose. So I made that appointment and yeah, I'm really relieved that I got this first dose and that um, I'm halfway vaccinated. Um, yeah, um, what else? So after that, I went over to my mom's house and I ate some food and my cousin came over. So he came over for like five minutes just to pick something up. So I got to see him and I haven't seen him in a while. So um, I was happy to see him. And then that was it. I was just like on the phone with my dad at my mom's house and um, on FaceTime with my sister. And that's it. My mom was just showing me stuff that she got for around the house and things like that. So um, I didn't pull my camera out. I'm going to go ahead wash my face, take a shower, get out of these freaking clothes, and I'm gonna call it a night. It is 926. It's so late. It's not even late, but it's just I'm so tired from driving literally like five hours today. And I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys. And I might vlog tomorrow, but it kind of just depends on how I feel when I wake up. Because I don't know how <laughs> I'm gonna feel with this vaccine. Like I know it says on the paper that you could get a headache, you could get chills, maybe a fever. Um, I know my arm is already feeling a little heavy. It doesn't feel sore yet, but um, usually when you get your vaccines, you don't really feel anything till the next day. So depending on how I feel tomorrow, we'll just determine if I vlog or not. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I will see you babes next time in my next vlog. Bye babes.